I'm dating a broke guy and it really really sucks because he has the best personality hands down I have so much fun with him and but it's like it's gotten to the point where right now I'm not doing as financially well as I normally do so in the past like we have taken trips but I've paid for the trips I've paid for the hotel I've paid for the rental of the car if we've been to concerts I've paid for the tickets he does what he can when he can but he doesn't do enough you know what I'm saying but he does what he can when he can but it's gotten to the point where it definitely sucks because I'm not doing as well financially. I can't afford to do things for two people. I can't even afford to do things just myself right now. So because I can't afford to do things for two, we actually don't do anything. We haven't done anything. Like if I'm being for real, for honest, like in September, for my birthday month he did he does celebrate me around those times though he does celebrate me around the holidays he does celebrate me around my birthday but yeah it's been october november december january so for the past four months me and him we just been like sitting ducks and yeah it just it sucks like it's crazy because i don't think like i feel like females come on online and talk about like look what he bought me look what he got me look at where he took me it's like the ones that are dating the broke men we don't talk about it but it's like no i mean i don't know there has to be like a conversation about it and it really sucks because i feel like it's kind of getting to the point where if i'm not the breadwinner or if i'm not if i don't somehow make my life lead me up to making income for two I don't think that I'm going to be able to be with this person and it just really sucks because it's he like I said he has like the best personality hands down so I'm on here to ask what do I do and don't be too cold like Shalom alaikum yashara and hey to the gentiles that are following after Yah's righteousness I'm King Brittany Chanel. We are back with another video. And in today's video, I want to discuss a viral kind of topic going around. A young lady did a video where she discussed that she was kind of a little frustrated with her broke man. So we're going to talk about that because um, this is a sensitive topic for a lot of men. That is very, a very sensitive, but honey, KB gonna tell the truth. We from the church to tell the truth. Let's get into it, y'all. Let's get started. All right, so let me just go over some things with y'all because a lot of men do not take into consideration of why women feel how they feel about broke men. And some men that are broke and content with that, they feel like why shouldn't they have access to a woman, right? So let me just go, You, I played the clip. So the young lady in the video is discussing that she is kind of a little frustrated. You know, she's saying she likes the guy's personality. Um, however, she's saying she is tired of paying for all of the, you know, the, the bills, you know, anything she wants to do, like she has to carry the load of two. And she was saying that she feels like she's kind of being pushed into the breadwinner role and if she wants to do anything, um, you know, kind for herself, she's having to foot the bill. Like if she wants to go um, on vacation and bring her significant other along, she has to pay for everything. The rental car, the, the place, everything. And I think that's unacceptable. I don't care what these men out here are saying. That is unacceptable. On one breath, in one breath, you're saying you're tired of women being masculine, and in one breath, they want to live soft life. It doesn't either you're gonna be a man a hundred percent where you protect and provide, other than that, you got to move to the side. That's what I feel about this. This young lady was saying her frustration is she did she was like she don't know if she can continue, and I'm gonna tell you why she's saying she didn't know if she could continue. It get it as a woman. You were not created and made to be doing all of the things that 
the most high y'all put the capacity in men to be doing that's why you see um it's an uptick with women uh having stress related uh illnesses and things like that because they're not supposed to be doing uh a lot of the things that they've been forced to, the the position they've been forced to put in and i'll say primarily i'm really talking about you know no disrespect to the other uh sisters from the other um nations i'm talking about yasha like women specifically because i know for a fact baby we've been put in a position to where we're expected to be the work mule for the rest of the world me myself when i i have been uh in certain environments due to the fact that um you know the most high god if you are a chosen one and he gives you that gift of anointing kind of like how our grandfather if you if you are ephraimite grandfather joseph how even when he was in captivity as a royal his anointing had things in decency and order and people will flock to you because of that and they'll try to siphon uh your virtue and your anointing just because the most high has put that excellence in you and our women especially we can get stuff together baby better than anybody else i tell you whether it be organization uh looking like something cooking cleaning but they'll cap and act like our women are not top of the line type of woman that deserve to be living a soft life due to the fact that that is uh indoctrination from the captors who they've trained these uh men to believe that your woman should be the work mule on the plantation and that's not the life she was originally living i could tell you that now this lady is a um a, a sister from another nation okay she appears to be a latina or um a hispanic um lady and she's complaining about because <clears throat> you know they try to make it seem like melanated women are the only women that are complaining about this sort of thing but this is clearly a, a, a young lady that is complaining saying she is tired of having to do all the work in the relationship and no man should feel comfortable with his woman flipping the whole and, and footing the whole bill i'm sorry what type of man do you have? Because even the Most High said, you don't work, you don't eat. Our men were not those type of men that were into that. They were shepherd kings. They worked. They knew that they, um, you know, the livelihood of the family was dependent upon them putting in work. And the love language to me from a man is showing that he could protect and provide because then a woman can reciprocate and be in that feminine state of energy where she can uh, tend to him in the ways that she needs to tend to him. Be the helpmate. See, he already is supposed to have the vision from Abaya and supposed to be implementing the vision. And then the woman comes and helps assist with said vision. If you are broke in pockets, you are broke in the spiritual realm probably and you just are broke all around and nobody is signing up for that poverty is a curse i'm gonna say it again poverty is a curse and poverty doesn't mean um it doesn't just mean lack of funds it could mean that you are lacking in the spiritual department because any man <laughs> any man that was on the path of righteousness soon as he links with the virtuous woman that you know he that good thing he obtains favor from the most high yah meaning that abba will in you know increase him and enlarge his territory simply because abba is letting him know okay you you need to rise to the occasion and take care of what i have blessed you with so the helpmate that i've blessed you with the children that i've blessed you with that's gonna have your legacy going on you need to be able to take care of that house. And then in taking care of that house, you need to have my law being a uh, practice. You need to be uh, taking care of them as far as having something to eat, a place to live. I'm not talking about, you know, uh, men having to buy you a $5,000, $6,000 bag. Because please don't think I'm saying that, y'all. That doesn't necessarily mean 
because a man cannot get you those luxury items that he's broke. We talking about a specific type of man that we know exists in society where a lot of these young, uh, I would say young men today or men that exist today, you hear them whining and complaining about complacency and, um, and their lackluster and they're not doing anything to uh, put themselves in a position where they can attract a woman because it's not going to change that women have been wired to be attracted to you based off of providership. It has always been that way. It, it's, it's just dusty and broke is not going to attract a woman. It's just not. You'll start looking real favorful and real attractive when you show those qualities that, honey, you could pay those bills. You're not tricking off your funds, uh, not paying your bills to look like something and be down in Columbia acting like you balling. You're not, <laughs> you're not uh, sitting around on your baby mama girlfriend doorstep while she, she paying the rent and you acting like you something on the internet. You're not in your kid's room, taking up their room, not figuring out how to get your family out the trap, out the hood, out the projects, but wanting to do something more and being a woman or a man, you know that the picture is bigger than just you. So that's how you ascend into uh, manhood and womanhood. And just to hear this young lady say, like, I'm tired of having to carry this grown man. It's crazy to me. I don't know how she sat in this relationship thus long with this dude. Sweetie, in the dating phase, you were supposed to, I don't even, I, I'm not for the Western dating thing. Um, I realized when the Most High woke me up, that that is a trap. So it's like when you're getting to know people, you are collecting data. I do believe in collecting data. I, I'm not in for the, the whole dating process stuff. But in continuation, I should say, you need to be collecting data about these dudes. Okay, like, do you pay your bills? You get what I'm saying? You don't, Like, a guy don't have to be rich, but he needs to be gainfully employed. Is he able to provide for himself? Is he paying his bills? You know, uh, is he being responsible or is he turning up on a Tuesday with the bill money? You need to know that. How are you with paying your bills? Do you pay your bills? Do you have a place for yourself to live? Do you have um, transportation? Okay, or are they coming to get your car? Or are they uh, putting you out your place? Because a lot of, you know, you got to peep those things, ladies. Excuse me, y'all. You have to peep those things, ladies. You can't just, oh, baby, I can't live off of you just in your personality. Because a lot of these women, they'll entertain dust bandos, dust bandits, dust balls, dust mites. And some of them is uh, so-called Yasharalites out there. That some of them are giving very dusty and they try to cover it up, uh, saying scriptures and stuff. Uh-uh, baby, we don't come from dustiness. Ain't none of the men in the Bible came from no dustiness, baby. Not Abraham, not Joseph, not none of them came from no dust bandit behavior. So, because somebody tried to say, oh, Yohoshua didn't have a place to rest his head. You didn't really over um apprehend the real lesson. You have some people using King Yohoshua as a justification on um, as to say that it's okay for men to be broke. Let's state facts. Let me state facts because disrespecting King Yohoshua, I'm going to have to come for you. Now, a king is a descendant and a ruler of a divine race, meaning he was pre-chosen, predestined, and he uh, completed the mission that Abba Yah uh, needed him to complete or sent him to complete, shall I say, because Abba Yah don't need nobody. He, he good all by himself. So I'm going to say this, a king knows how to serve. They know what a servant is. A servant is not a slave. Let me say it again. A servant is not a slave. A prime example that gave you the blueprint of King Yohoshua was that Yosef was a royal that went into captivity. And even him going in captivity when they sold um, 
Joseph's brother sold him into captivity. Even the even the even the people that were they were selling him to the captors, they were saying, "You don't look your 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 garments and this coat you got on that coat of many colors. You don't look like no slave." So being a royal and not existing in poverty and being rich, wealthy has nothing to do with fiat currency. It has nothing to do with arrogance. It's, it, it, it has something to do with you knowing that you are a servant of the most high and knowing that being a servant of the most high, a child of Yah allows you to have resources beyond your comprehension. So him walking around, he didn't need to exist with fiat currency. He walked in his authority knowing he was king, but the humility and the meekness in him allowed him to be the perfect servant for the Most High Yah. Y'all don't know about king shit. You know about running that mouth shit. That's why a lot of these, a lot of these dudes is broke because they do not follow instructions. They do not have a spiritual real relationship with the Most High Yah. They have a form of godliness, but they deny the power thereof. Meaning the form of godliness is they may know a bunch of scriptures, but they have zero power to activate the scriptures. They're so arrogant and prideful. They do not know how to serve because once you learn how to serve, Abba resists the proud, but he embraces the meek. So real kings, anybody that is walking in kingship knows that Abba exalts the humble. The ones who know how to serve. And serve doesn't mean that you allow people to take advantage of you. This is what the world, the world knows who the royals are. Because they don't have to have on uh, things to falsely advertise that they're rich. In Inward, spiritually, they can see this person has anointing. This person was chosen. This person does things in decency and order and excellence. And then Abaya enlarges their territory and grants them favor and allows them to walk in authority in him and the things of him on this plane that we're on, this earth plane that we're on, right? So once you understand that, you realize that broke doesn't just mean you don't have finances because that's a small thing for Abaya to give you uh bread see a lot of these people they don't even know how to pray to get things done and i don't mean Abba's not a genie you're not praying to him for 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 for, 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 for stupidity just like the lilies of the valley need rain he knows that you need resources to exist in this earth plane but you have to do things in decency and order. Your prayers have to be correct, genuine, honest. A man of Yah knows how to position the Shamayim for things that he needs. He'll ask the Father, lead me and guide me, Father, which way do I go? So a lot of these men that have a problem with women saying, I don't want no broke man because inwardly they know why would you attach your wagon to a man that is broke in the natural, meaning he is probably broke in the spiritual realm. Somebody has walked, walked off with his uh, glory and all kind of stuff. And a lot of these men who they have a, 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 a lazy praying life, a lazy just relationship with Abaya, this is why they're, they're broke and dusty. The Most High ain't called you to be no broke and dusty, so why would you feel complacent in that? And like I said, this is bigger than just fiat currency. You shouldn't feel like you're competing with your sisters either for financials. Because a lot of men sit, sit around and, and they blame women 
for being advanced, not realizing the most high is the ultimate chess player. So anything that is, is happening has been allowed. So you need to be asking, why has y'all allowed this? Why are the women advancing in areas and the men are not? And then ask yourselves as a male, as the male congregation, because we ain't over there with y'all. So ask y'all in the male congregation, why has Abba allowed women to financially uh, prosper and business owners and things as such? Because the requirements for a woman is totally different for the requirements of a man. And a lot of men need to understand that. A lot of men are upset that women get by off of looks and um, just, just existing in femininity. And as you see, there's a lot of men that are attempting to rest in their femininity. Because they, they don't want to um, rise to the occasion in the capacity that the Most High has put in them. To do what they need to do. They want to hide. They don't really want to do the work. Any man that I see that complains about women not wanting a broke man, I'm automatically know this is a broke and broken individual. He don't want to do nothing more. Because no man, any man with common sense knows that a woman don't want a broke dusty. Because the Most High has designed the woman to be a helpmate. And help means assist. If you don't have nothing going, what is she assisting? It's not her job to carry you. Abba Yah has showed man what the blueprint is. He has protected and provided for you. He has sacrificed for you. You're supposed to love your wife like your Hoshua loves his church. What sacrifices have you made? Are you doing things in decency and order? Are you doing stuff to prepare yourself for a wife? Or are you just in la-la land, in lascivious land, and thinking that you're just supposed to be blessed off of that? Why would I buy y'all and uh, enlarge your territory when you're complacent with dusty, dustiness? Even I buy y'all said he gonna clean you up and give you a new garment. You ain't even asked him or got yourself together in the spirit realm to get a new garment going. You won't clean up your foul habits. You won't stop complaining. I'm going to get a man's perspective on this, y'all, because I know I'm not the only one that feels like men should not be complacent and broken.